All right, so I'm jumping into this tutorial a little bit ahead of where I've been doing other tutorials since now you have most of the skills. Uh, so first thing you should know, I have set up my image with about the dimensions of a movie poster and I'm eyeballing for the purpose of this one. Uh, and I've gone ahead and I've set that image as the background and then I've actually added some fonts already. So you can see I have the name of my film using this, Stronger Than Man, uh, and I even have fonts at the bottom of the movie poster. Now I'm very aware that this does not look accurate to the bottom of a traditional movie poster. Um, unfortunately with Pixlr, we just don't quite have the control of tools to really do that well uh, without manually spending a really long time on it. Uh, it's totally doable. You just have to do a separate line of text for each font, but you can see uh, as I grab the text tool with this font here, there's really just no way to adjust the space between lines and we would really need to close up the space uh, and add a lot more information here, just a lot more lines of uh, text to make it look similar to a movie poster, which we can look at like here, which actually isn't even a professional one. Like this is more what it would look like and you can just see lots of different font sizes uh, and arrangement with pretty tight text. Um, so we can't quite pull that off in Pixlr without spending a ton of time on it. If you want to invest the time, it's definitely worth doing. Uh, but what I want to show you is just how to use fonts in Pixlr. Uh, so what I can do at any time, I can click on my font and then I use my text tool to select the area that I um, want to work with. So this is the word stronger and I can make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to get it right back to 99. When I want to move it, I can select it with this tool, and then I can actually use my arrow keys to control exactly where I want it. And I want it to be right about there, right about where it is. The other thing I can do is I can start messing with fonts. And while Pixlr doesn't have as many fonts as you would find in some other programs, there are a fair amount of good ones. So let's say I'm starting here, I can click one font, and then I'm just going to use the arrow key to navigate through some of the different ones. And we can experiment with it, how font really changes the way our image feels. So I'm going to I'm going to go a really different direction and I'm going to get this uh, full thing in Edwardian script, which is going to require me to just get a little bit smaller. Weird how it's cutting off my R. If I go back to Edwardian script, it's still doing the same thing. Okay, maybe I'll experiment with a different one. We'll do it this, almost like a, a romantic comedy. Okay, so we go from what we had to stronger uh, and let's see what that font name was that font was called freestyle script and I'm just gonna go ahead and change than to freestyle script okay and man select and go freestyle script okay so now we've got like our almost our rom-com version of Stronger Than Man. Because of the different font, I'm probably going to want to rearrange my words a little bit. Bring my van up there. And you can see I'm just really playing with and experimenting with how things look and trying to use the lines of the letters to guide the viewer's eye in an interesting way. And maybe I want to move all this down a little bit. So I'm going to bring van over here. And I'll bring my stronger over here. And I'm seeing, like, as I do this, I just need to change things a little bit. I'm wanting my stronger to be a little bit bigger. And at some point, I max out. That's the biggest I can get, uh, which is, again, a limitation of Pixlr. But it works for our purposes. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I might keep finessing exactly where the than goes. You can see how it has a really big visual impact depending where I put it. Um, I'm going to follow that line of the R down with my than, and then I'm going to do something similar with my man here. Follow that line down. Uh, and I'm trying to decide, do I do it with that line of the M? Um, I can also at any point like rotate this by uh, edit free transform. I guess, so technically if I want to rotate it, I have to do something called rasterizing layer. So I'd rasterize it, and that makes it so it's no longer an editable text file at all. But what I can do now is I can go and free transform it, and I can stretch it, I can rotate it, and I can make it a lot bigger at this point. So then, not looking as sharp, but it is starting to approximate maybe 
uh, what I might want it to look like. And obviously we need some more finessing, but that's like a quick overview of just how you would manipulate text. Again, with a text file that's still a text file, you click on the A button and you can alter that text. If you want to get it bigger than the set size or start manipulating it more to rotate it, then you're going to have to go into, by right clicking, go rasterize layer. And you'll be able to manipulate it, but unfortunately then if you wanted to change this man text again, I'd have to restart with a new text layer of man. So I'm going to trash that, undo a couple of those deletions, and that's a quick preview of how you would start uh, making a movie poster. I look forward to seeing what you create.